What we're going to look at now is the pre-crystallisation of coverture, sometimes referred to as tempering. Tempering is a process that you take the chocolate through to achieve three key characteristics. The first is gloss, the second is retraction, the third is snap. I prepared two sheets of acetate to demonstrate these qualities. If we take the first sheet, first transfer sheet, this is a good tempered or pre-crystallized coverture. As you can see, it is retracting because it's curling up the plastic sheeting. If I remove the sheeting, you finish up with a superb shine. Then if we take the piece of chocolate, then we get the snap. If we go back to the acetate transfer sheet, a good illustration of poorly pre-crystallized or tempered chocolate would be if you run your finger on the surface, you can physically see the chocolate starting to melt. Once you release the transfer sheet from the chocolate, as you can see this time, you've got a very, very poor shine, gloss. And if you take the chocolate, and if you snap it this time, There's no cracking sound whatsoever. The chocolate also hardly owes its shape. Another example of these three qualities is when you start molding the coverture into molds. Once the chocolate has actually set, you should be able to release the chocolates directly from the mold. Once again, giving a superb shine and obviously the retraction to allow the chocolate to come out of the mould. What we're going to do now is look at the tempering or pre-crystallisation process of coverture. There are a number of different methods of tempering coverture. The one I'm going to demonstrate now is the microwave method. The microwave method is best suited for smaller quantities of chocolate. Before I proceed with the process, what I would like to explain is a little about the coverture itself. When you receive the callets, they are already tempered and they have all those characteristics we spoke about earlier. The snap, the shine, the retraction. The only way you're going to remove those characteristics is by overheating it in the microwave. And in this case, for white chocolate, taking it above 30, 32 degrees Celsius. We need a plastic bowl to put the callets in. Always be aware of the bowl that you're going to use in the kitchen or the bakery and ensure that there are no traces of water within it because once you get water in contact with the coverture, it is no longer suitable for tempering. Right, what we're going to do now then, I'm going over to the microwave a little point about the microwave, really you need to get used to the microwave that you're using. All microwaves have different power levels. This is a 1300 watt microwave, which is quite a powerful microwave. Uh, the setting for this I would probably have on a medium to a full range. In with the chocolate, switch on the microwave. What we're trying to achieve with this method of tempering chocolate is that we're going to partially melt down the callettes, bringing it out of the microwave, then mixing it until it's fully melted down. What we must ensure is that we take it out of the microwave every 15 or 20 seconds, give it a stir, and then back in again. So if I just take it out, we can see it's starting to melt down in the bottom of the bowl there. So what I'm going to do now is return it back into the microwave. Another 15 to 20 seconds, bring it back out again. During this melting process, you need to be quite careful with the temperature range. As you can see, 
chocolate left in the microwave too long burns very quickly from the center outwards. We can see now the liquid forming and it's not far away now from being fully crystallized. Right, the chocolate is almost there. It's not fully melted and now I'm stirring it to dissolve the rest of the callots down. And this is a spe specialist spatula from Keylink that I'm using to mix and dissolve the coverture. As you can see, it's got a, a thermometer that runs down the, the center of the spatula. And then at the end of the spatula, it gives you a reading of the core temperature of your coverture. Once you've tempered the chocolate down to the required temperature, it is always advisable to do a chocolate test. A chocolate test is quite a simple process which can save you a lot of heartache uh, further down the road when you're enrobing moulds. All we do is take a palette knife and spread the tempered coverture onto the palette knife and then we place that in a refrigerator once again testing the three characteristics that we're looking for in pre-crystallized tempered coverture. Snap, retraction, gloss. Right then, the tester now has been in the fridge for approximately 10 minutes. And as you can see now, I can release it from the palette knife and we've also got a good shine there with it. The second method of tempering chocolate is going to be the seed method. For this, I'm going to use the MM08 chocolate molding machine. What we normally do with this machine the night before is we set the top red control panel to your required temperature. In this case, for plain coverture, we're going to set it at 45 degrees Celsius. We place the coverture into the chamber and leave it. As you can see, the chocolate has melted down and it's spinning round with the wheel. The following day in the morning, when you get in for work, you then lower the temperature range of the green numerals to 31 degrees C. And then we seed it with collets. We use approximately between 20 and 30% of collets to seed. So we've got six kilos of chocolate here melted. We're going to add approximately 1.5 kilo of collets. And all we do is gradually add the collets to the chocolate. And as you can see, the wheel is spinning the chocolate round. And now that I've put in the callets, I'm simply going to press the temper assist button, which is going to really speed up the process of cooling the chocolate down to 31 degrees C. After 15 minutes with the temper assist, you will have perfectly tempered chocolate.